Here's the 0-1. Story hits it high and deep right field. Way back and gone! Three-run bomb. Welcome to the big leagues, Trevor Story. How do you like that? I've got goosebumps. Me too. Not gonna lie. Me too. Mom and dad are jumping for joy here at Chase Field. Wow! Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, oh, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A oh, double play. Oh, oh, my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle. Long, long, long. An extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Here's the 0-2. Swung on. There goes the deep left. It is high. It is far. It is gone. He's done it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it again. I have run out of superlatives. He is the Sanchino. Gary is <laughs> scary. He hits another home run. And the Yankees have. Tuesday night baseball now from Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. We wrap up this quick two game interleague series between the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. It's interleague baseball on MLB Network. Luis Severino is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he has really struggled his last three outings. His ERA totally inflated. It's over five. When you look at that, that's too many runs he's given up. And he's just not giving his team a chance to even get out the gate and win the game. Stepping into the box, Juan Ligares. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. And that's taken outside for a ball, so he's worked it back to two and two now. And our game time temperature this evening, a nice 74 degrees. Changeup misses, and it's full three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 oh and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. And he lays off ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. And don't in forget, he lost his last there. time out, so Short he step. wants to get off on the and right foot the here. The last Cabrera. thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Yeah. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And here's a swing and a miss from Cabrera as he set down on strikes and there's one away. And now a chance to meet the Mets. How do they go about taking down their big rival, Harold? You want to watch the team put the ball in play. This is the team you want to watch. They are last in the league in strikeouts. One through nine, they put the ball in play. They put pressure on you. It's going to be a fun watch to see how they battle the other team's pitchers. Standing in, Michael Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Ready with the one and one. And that one right down Main Street. Line drive to left. 
but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about batting trying fourth. to move up. Third baseman, number Here's five. the third baseman, David Wright. David he carries a Wright. batting line in the 280s to begin this one. Now a throw over to first, and he's back easily. One and two, here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two out with the man at first. Chopped weakly to the left. There to take it is Headley. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Mets leave one. Nothing in the Mets half of the first. The Yankees' first set of swings coming up. Crosstown action on MLB Network. Robert Gesellman is on the mound for game two. Harold, what do you got? Well, he has got an excellent strikeout to walk ratio. He's dominating hitters. He doesn't walk guys. He's around the plate. And that number alone just tells me his stuff is dominating and hitters can't catch up to it. Let's watch him execute in this game. Here's the center fielder Jacoby Ellsbury. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. He pulls this one into right, and that'll get down in front of Granderson for a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. Well, they're having a good night so far. The pitcher threw a scoreless top of the first, and now he leads off with the single. This is the recipe you want. Standing in, Starlin Castro. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit on the ground to short. To second for one. On to first to complete the double play. And with that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Yeah, Matty, they have to be very happy with Greg Bird right now. He's been a catalyst for this team in the last 10 games and in so many different ways, but looking at the one number I'm looking at, a 450 on base percentage, when you have that and you have the type of abilities that he has, you're awfully dangerous. Here's Chris Carter now. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. For the second time, it looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. An inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on MLB Network. In is Curtis Granderson. He's a long ball threat, of course, currently number four in the National League home run race. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Outside, 2 and 1. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, Harold, they come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Well, Matt, they're two and two on the homestand, so obviously you don't want to go two and three if you lose this game here. Three and two, though, the win today gets you shooting towards That'd maybe a nice little winning streak. Second That's why this game is important to me. Number time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Yankees. And I'm looking at Aaron Hicks. Now, yes, he can go get the ball with the best of them. I've watched him make great plays over his head, drained it to the right or the left. But, man, can he throw. And he threw a ball a few years back. That was one of the best throws I've ever seen. And that there put him on the map. Into the box, Wilmer Flores. He's coming off a three-hit performance in the loss last night. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Ready on one and two. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. 
batting seven. Riding in, Travis Darno. A season batting average comes in down in the 240s. No score here as we play inning number two. A shot down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The next three, two. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Into the box, Gavin Cicchini. Three and one now. That's that controversial pitch right there. It's in the zone, should be called a strike by the book, but it's not a strike in baseball, not in the big leagues anyway. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. And this is fouled back and out of play. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. And that's through into left field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third. And that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Well, that one's going to load this the bases up. They held the one. runner up. They're really looking one. for a big inning right here. Trying to get a big strike out of the next two hitters coming up. Stepping in now, Juan Ligares, as he loops under the ball and pops it up. After it is Holiday, and no shot for Holiday. It's a foul ball. Again, a one-two. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. The way the game is played today, the leadoff guy, he drives in two runs, and you don't think a whole lot of it because he's now one of the guys that's an RBI producer. This is not your dad's old game. This is the new school. Standing in now as Dribble Cabrera. Misses ball two. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. You got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ellsbury is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Mets out in front, two to nothing. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. One and one, here it comes. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Ball and two. a curveball that time that broke too low. Well, I don't know if that was a great take or he's just flat out full because that curveball was really close. What a great pitch with two strikes. Three and two now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. 
Once again, a 3 2. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Well, a leadoff single right, right here in the there. second inning. This is a good Five. sign. Maybe this is oh, how they day. get right back in the game, being already down a couple of runs early. Now batting, Matt Holliday. He's entering play in this one, a home run shy of 20 for the season. Nobody out, runner on first. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now another one two a swing and a drive to center field that one's got a chance Ligaris racing back he gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Well let's take a look at the mess defense brought to you by Majestic right, and at third base hey. the captain Captain America David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Here's Chase Headley. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Runners on first with one down. This is pulled into right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, there's another single. Now they're first and second with one out. You better get this guy early, though. That's what the good ones do. They settle in. You better take advantage while you have him in trouble. Into the box now, Aaron Hicks. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And a relay home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Tried to put him away on a changeup, but that one was up. Anytime a changeup is up, we recognize it. When it's down, very tough to hit. He just missed a spot. Into the box, Ruben Tejada as he lifts it in the air to right field. Branderson is under it, two gone. So coming to the plate, Austin Romine. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Conforto ranging back. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a three run blast is straight away left. Home run number five on the year. And they will jump ahead here. It's now four to two. It looked like he might just work out of that inning only giving up a single run but it all comes crashing down on that mistake nothing like a three run bomb to change the entire complexion of your day on the mound. Stepping in and ready for another shot Jacoby Ellsbury a base hit in his first trip. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Liner towards second. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. So that keeps the bottom of the second going. Wow, his manager must have a lot of faith in him, and I'm not sure why. He's given up five hits in this inning alone, and it doesn't look like it's going to come to an end anytime soon. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it will wind up first and second here. Okay. 
Stepping in now, Chris Carter. Swing and a liner. Foul. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And to score, the runner from second. Everybody has bad days at the office, including starting pitchers. He's given up five runs in this inning alone, and you have to wonder how long the manager's going to stay with him. Not long, I would bet. Coming to the plate again, Greg Bird, as he'll bat for the second time in the inning. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. And they get the force at home. Whatever works as the side is retired. But not before five cross the plate, with the big blow being this three-run home run. We play two. It's now 5-2 New York. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. And with one away, we'll bring you a look at the current division standings. And you can see these guys have their work cut out for them if they want to make noise in the division. Ready for another chance? David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Hit hard toward the right side. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. The right fielder, number three. It is Curtis, Curtis Granderson. Granderson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two out, nobody on. One and two now. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Popped up. Headley is there for it. And that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. And the deficit remains five to two. Riding in once again, Chase Headley. He reached on a single in his first try. One and one, here it comes. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So with one gone, time for our look at the current standings. As you can see, these guys really have a comfortable lead in the division race to this point in the season. Digging in to try it again, Aaron Hicks. Looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Here's another one, too. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit down the third base line. And this is going to get by right down the line. It's a fair ball. What a great swing. That ball got back as far as he could and he shot it right past the third baseman. Now, the third baseman wasn't playing on the line. He's off the line a little bit, but I still like the execution of the swing. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. In now, Ruben Tejada. 
fastball called strike one and two. Oh Matt look it's real simple if you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. Oh and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out in a double play situation. You kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Into the box now Austin Romine as he lifts it in the air to right field. And that's in there base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well that's a big base hit for him. He's been on some kind of cold streak even talking about maybe having to sit him down. His average had dropped below 200. That's a big knock and a confidence builder. Digging in and looking for more Jacoby Ellsbury two on two out for him here in the third. Trying to hang a zero here's the pitch and this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. That's a big no no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Bases are loaded here, two down. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Rivera is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Yankees leave them loaded. And it remains five to two. Digging in for his second at bat, Wilmer Flores. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Come on, Yankees! From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. A cold strike on the inside corner. 3 and 1, here it is. Hit the other way out toward right field. Holiday is under it. One out. Now batting. Stepping up now, Travis, Travis Darno. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Here it is on three and zero. Oh. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Fourth inning here already a five to two score. Just staying alive putting together a really good at bat here. Into the windup ready with the payoff pitch. And he looks at one that misses and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Now batting. So digging in now, Gavin, Gavin Cicchini. Cicchini. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. The 2 1 pitch. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's 2 and 2. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. To short. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Got the ground ball he's looking for right there. A hard grounder, but it just wasn't at somebody. Oh, if it's at somebody, it's a double play First ball. Basement. Now he's Renee got to get back Rivera. to work and maybe get another one. Standing in now. Rene Rivera and that pitch catches the inside corner. Let's go, Yankees. One and two here it comes. Now here's a swing and a high pop up drifting into shallow right field and Castro will put this one away for route number two. Here's Juan Lagares two men on two away here in the fourth. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Slider, and that thing comes in at 89 on the radar gun. A ball and two strikes now. 
the one and two pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. Now a check swing but he does manage to hold up in time ball three. Well he's barely still alive. That's a nice check swing right there. Two strikes two outs. And he's still hanging in there. Now you take a deep breath and try to get something to hit. High pop up. Romine has a play. And that's the third out. Two left for the Mets. They trail 5 2. Here's Chris Carter now. He's one for two in the ball game. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. First That's the fourth three, time he three. struck out, and we're Three's only in the second third. game of this series. Stepping in now, Greg Bird. Now a ball sprayed fouled into the seats near third. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there. In now Matt Holliday. Ooh, good change up just missed inside. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different and it's resulting in him not tacking the strike zone anymore. And Darno will make the catch and that ends the inning. One two three go the Bombers. They're still out in front five to two. Digging in once again as Drubal Cabrera. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Okay, take your time. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Right over the middle, knee high. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And a changeup right down the middle. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game and he's probably gone. We're in the fifth inning here. Five two is our score. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Cutter and that's a called strike two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Tejada for one. On to first, a double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Into the box, David Wright. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. That's a great spot down the zone there. Hard to do anything with the pitch down there. Hit in the air to center field. Ellsbury 
He's under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Chase Headley will be the one to start us off when we return. It's the Yankees five and the Mets two. You're Seth Lugo is going to take over now here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Seth Lugo. Here's Chase Headley, one for two on his line so far in the game. Three and one, here it is. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit toward the right side. And a rather easy first out. Now batting. Left fielder. Ready Cameron. once again, Aaron Hicks. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Five runs, ten hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now batting. Ready for another shot now. Ruben Tejada. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Ligaris. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So the Yanks go 1 2 3, and it remains 5 to 2. Adam Warren takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 43, Adam Warren. Striding in once again, Curtis Granderson. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Payoff pitch one more time. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. The batter number four, second baseman. At the plate, Wilmer, Wilmer Flores. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Hit on the ground out to short. Tejada is up with it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. Catcher. Here's the catcher, Travis, Travis Darno. It was a walk in his last trip. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Mets go down one two three and the deficit remains five to two. Ready for another shot now Austin Romine. He's off to a fast start in this one two for two including a home run. He's set here comes the one one down the first baseline. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Well, as we take another look now at it, you can see that this thing kind of handcuffed him and he couldn't Jacoby make the play. Comes off the heel of the glove and the leadoff man is aboard. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Two base hits, both singles to this point. A runner at first with no outs here. Runners on the move for second. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. And Ellsbury's aboard with a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, Matt, he's really been struggling recently. But this is the third hit of the game right here. Maybe we're seeing signs that he's really going to start to come out of it and maybe stay out of it. Standing in now, 
Starlin Castro. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And another foul ball. Here's the pitch on two and two. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with now still batting. nobody out. Designated hitter, Fred Parker. Oh. Into the box now, Chris Carter. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Well, right here, he's definitely worked himself into a very difficult situation. He's got the power hitter at the plate, and you got two balls. He's sitting there looking for his pitch to hit. You know he's zeroing in. One run scores. And the second run will score as they stretch things even further now, seven to two. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win games, and he's a big part of it right here. That's his third RBI, and they extend the lead in this ballgame. In now Greg Bird there's a swing and a ball lifted to left but back in the seats out of play it's one and two runners at the corners here nobody out again he sends it out of play now a ball grounded to short this could be two Throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. But they will not get them both as he beats out the back end and drives home the run from third. Right fielder. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Holliday. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. And there's his first base hit in this one. Well, Matt, that's the sixth game. He's got a base hit in. Now you got to start a streak somewhere. I start paying attention about six games. He's swinging back pretty good. Here's Chase Headley. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And gone right down the line the other way. Three run shot down the line in left. 12 home runs for him now thus far as they push this lead up to nine now. Well, it's one thing to make a mistake pitch and have a guy blast him for a homer. In that case, you know it's your fault. But here, he just barely gets enough of it to the opposite field and it's gone. Great swing and all, but as a pitcher, that's a tough one to swallow. Into the box, Aaron Hicks. Lined into left field, a base hit. Matt, that's his third hit of the night, his third single. I'm sure he'd like to have a double or something now, mixed in, but for now, he'll take the three for four. Ruben. Standing in now, Ruben Tejada tapped down the line. That's a foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. This is line to left. In there, a base hit. He really worked hard on this at bat to get to a count where he can get something to hit. Gets him three two, gets a fastball. Boom, base hit. Into the box now, Austin Romine. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. He's set, and the one-two pitch. Slider stayed too low, ball two. Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third, so they're loaded now with only one away. Center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury.
in now Jacoby Ellsbury. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Lays off the one two change up and he's worked it back to two and two. Wow really close pitch on 0 oh and two that just missed and if he hits that spot right there again he might get the call next time. Back to back change ups and fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with the third one. I got to be thinking some other pitch is coming. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead and they'll put the brakes on the runner at third so the bases will remain loaded here with still only one away. The batter number 14, second baseman, Carlin Castro. Stepping in now, Starlin Castro. Swinging the ball line softly down the line in left, but foul. Another 2 2 offering. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Conforto calls for it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Eight runs already in this inning. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Conforto looks up. And it's gone. So a three run blast to straight away left. Home run number five on the year as they just continue to pour it on here. wasn't a particularly deep home run by today's standards but it certainly did scream out of the park in a hurry you see they're on show track an impressive 112 miles an hour off the bat into the box Greg Bird shot back up the middle that gets down and he's got himself a base hit so Matt Holiday will get a chance this inning following the two out hit. That's never where you want that change up to be up in the zone. He hangs it. You still got away with it because it's still in the ballpark. That ball is one he hits to the moon usually. Into the box now Matt Holiday. And that'll get down for a base hit. Bird rounds third and is digging for the plate. Throws there and he's dead at home plate. Not before things change dramatically as they explode for 11 here to really open things up. Seventh inning coming up. The Yankees are out in front, 16 to 2. Back here in the Bronx. This one pretty much all over but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Digging in to try it again. Gavin Cicchini. He singled his last time up. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. And here's a ball hit in the air. Here comes Holiday, but he won't get there. It falls in. Oh, he hits a little dying quail behind the infielder. I tell you what, now he couldn't have thrown that ball any First better. Baseman. Talk about placement. Benning that was Rivera. perfect. Ready once again, Rene Rivera, a hit in two tries so far. One and one, here it comes. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Yankees. 
set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Nope, to two balls and two strikes now. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. Nobody out runner on first. Lofted in the air out toward right center. After it is Holiday. And that's the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The center fielder number Here's Juan one. Ligares. He one singled earlier, Ligares. making him one for two to this point. Here it comes on one and one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, now he's falling behind three one, and all the pitches have been down. He's trying to get that double play ball, but the strategy has to change now. Now he's got to throw a strike. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. Recovery throw is not in time, and that will go down as a painful single. I gotta think he was sitting on change of three two. That was a nice pitch, and he still got the base hit. Ready for another chance as Drubal Cabrera. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First and second now, one man out. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and he'll be back in standing up. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Ellsbury going back on it, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. Now the relay home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with Michael a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout, and an easy play out there for Headley, and that ends the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Yankees lead it 16 to 3. Fernando Salas enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Fernando Salas. Digging in and looking for more, Chase Headley. He went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. He pulls this one into right, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first down. Digging in once again, Aaron Hicks. His career numbers against this pitcher, one for four. Bases are empty, one man out. And that misses, two and one. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Pulled toward right center field. Branderson is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting, 
So digging in now, Ruben Tejada. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Now the pitch. On the ground, up the middle, taken there by Cabrera. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But you can forgive them as they still hold an enormous lead. Jason Shreve enters from the pen to begin the, the frame with a sizable Number lead with which to work. Jason Shreve. Stepping up to the plate, Curtis Granderson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And the pitch. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Boy, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. All even at two and two. Here it is. And a neck high fastball that time. He's set. Here's the three and two. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Ellsbury racing back. But he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. Talk about starting off the inning with the a bat. Bang. Four, Goodness. When this thing left the bat, I thought Wilmer it was out of here. Florian. And I think he might have too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. In now, Wilmer Flores. Nope. That's trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball and he missed it. It's three and one now. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a three one count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the counts in his favor like this. That's in there and it'll run the count to full three and two. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Headley to back up and put this one away just past the dugout for the first out. Now batting. Here's the catcher, catcher. Travis Darno. One for Darneau. two with a double on his line thus far. Come on now, let's get a right here. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Ball two. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in a one two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. Hit on the ground to third. Throw gets him two down. Coming to the plate now, no Gavin Cicchini. Couple of singles Gavin to his Gavin. credit thus far. Gavin Cicchini. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Oh, he brought it back. Met strand one. And they remain well, well behind. with the play Austin Romine it's been a nice game for him three hits including a homer to this point a one and one count here's the pitch and this is fouled at the plate looking for the strikeout here's the one two this is foul right side here he comes again one two line hard to the left side but foul. Again a one two. Tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line. And that's in there. Base hit. Well how about that for a four hit game. He homered earlier. Now he picks up his fourth hit of the game. Wow he's having a tremendous game.
Into the box, Jacoby Ellsbury. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. 2-2, two -two, here it is. Line drive to center field. Ligaris is there, and he has it for the first out. Here's Starlin Castro. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. One and one, here it comes. Smoke toward the hole. And Castro's got himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Oh, the old CNI base hit. The change ups down. The batter goes down to get it and still finds a hole to put it through. Good pitch. Better hitting. Into the box now. Chris Carter. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Here's the 2-2. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he pops it up back behind second base. And here's Flores to make the catch. And the side is retired. Yanks strand a pair. But not to fear as they hold a commanding lead. Now at the plate, Rene Rivera starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Hit back up the middle. And it's through for a base hit. They'll have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. The center fielder number 12. Here's Juan Ligares. Two hits Ligares. and three at-bats for him in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And there's ball two now. A runner at first with no outs here. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. One and one, here it is. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent, beware. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Good lead there at second, here's the pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an up to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Standing in now, Michael Conforto takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. Hey, number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch on the ground near home. 
And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. The third baseman at the five, plate, David, David Wright. Wright. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Runners at second and third with two gone. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Line drive to left. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 16 to 3 tonight. The New York Yankees collect a win with 24 hits. Luis Severino earned his ninth win of the year. Robert Gesellman was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Time of the ball game, three hours and 57 minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium. 53. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. to four. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall.